Hi, I'm Bob Ryan and this is a video for HomeDefenseGun.net and today uh, we're talking about uh, one of the more affordable and uh, fairly ubiquitous rifles that you'll see out there, the, the SKS. Uh, this rifle was uh, invented by a, a Russian fellow by the name of Simonov who uh, tried to come up with a couple of different things over the years, uh, a few different rifles, and a, an anti-tank weapon, uh, but the SKS here is uh, essentially his, his long-term contribution to firearms design. Uh, this rifle was originally going to be the, uh, the, the Russian service arm, but uh, was dropped in, in favor of the, the AK-47. Uh, the SKS here fires the 7.62 by 39 round, which uh, is the same round that the, the AK fires, and uh, was, uh, you know, uh, a short-term Russian design that uh, did catch on in uh, places like Yugoslavia and China. Uh, China is the, uh, where this particular rifle came from. Uh, it was their Model 56, I think. Uh, I'm not so good at reading the Chinese characters on it, so I couldn't tell you for certain. But, uh, and the, uh, the Chinese made a lot of these guns, uh, and many, many thousands of them were, uh, were shipped over here after the, the Chinese replaced it with uh, a different rifle for, for their army. Uh, originally, these guns were, uh, were very, very cheap. Uh, you could pick up one of these rifles for maybe fifty, sixty dollars. Uh, these days they run more along the lines of uh, two hundred and fifty or three hundred dollars. But uh, they're still, you know, very affordable, and uh, they make an excellent option if uh, you've never had any experience before with a semi-automatic rifle. Uh, if you're interested in, in getting into that for, you know, home defense or you know, just shooting, plinking in general, uh, these are a pretty good starter weapon uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, the stock design on these rifles is uh, far more traditional. Uh, than, than that of uh, the pistol-gripped AR-15 or AK-47. So if you have a little bit of experience with uh, you know, some kind of hunting rifle, this is uh, going to be a lot more comfortable for you getting things started. The other thing that makes the, uh, the fixed magazine variant of this gun, which this one happens to be uh, kind of nice, is the fact that uh, the fixed magazine and the 10-round capacity of this gun means that it's, it's legal almost everywhere. Uh, you've, you've got to have some pretty restrictive gun laws before you can't have this particular rifle. And, uh, you know, finally, it's uh, extremely easy to maintain, it's, uh, it's easy to shoot, and it, uh, you know, it's uh, extremely durable. This thing uh, will take a significant beating before you'll ever have a problem with it, and it's, it's just not the kind of a firearm you have to worry over that much. As you can see, it's, it's not a a beautiful piece of equipment. Uh, you know, the metalwork on it's rough, the wood on it's rough, and uh, you know, it's got a lot of kind of ugly angles to it and everything, but uh, it's, it's a really good uh, beginning rifle. You know, you get something like this, you find out if you're interested in, in semi-automatics, and uh, you know, if you are, maybe you can upgrade, maybe you'll get to like it and hang on to it for many years, but uh, either way, it's, uh, it's a heck of a thing to start with. So we're going to uh, show you how to load and fire this rifle today, and uh, then we're going to take it down and uh, show you how easy it is to maintain and clean. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, it'll you know, change the way you've, you've thought about uh, these excessively ugly rifles that you see sitting in that sporting goods uh, rack. So we'll, uh, we'll move over to the range now and show you how to shoot this thing. All right, uh, now we're going to take a minute here to show you how to operate the uh, very affordable SKS rifle. Uh, for starters, it, uh, it has a safety down here on the trigger guard. Flip it up for safe, down for fire. Uh, it's pretty, pretty nice if you're right-handed. Uh, if you're lefty like me, it could be a little awkward, but you can get it to work. Uh, I guess there just weren't going to be that many left-handed people in the, the great communist utopia. But, uh, the ones there are, I guess they, they figured out a way to get by. Uh, the sights on this rifle are a lot like the, the sights you'll find on an AK-47. Uh, the back here is adjustable up and down for, for elevation. The front sight here 
is uh, adjustable left to right. Uh, sometimes uh, you might uh, have to give it pretty good on there, but uh, it's uh, it's meant to be pushed back and forth with a drift and a hammer. But uh, you know, if you spray some penetrating oil on there when you take possession of your rifle, it's not that bad. Uh, most of the time, these things shoot pretty well left to right, uh, and you know the, the up and down is, is easily adjusted with the use of this rear sight. Uh, all things considered, getting them sighted in isn't that big of a deal. Uh, to load this rifle, uh, if you were a Chinese soldier, pull back the bolt, and then you'd have a, a 10 round stripper clip that you would insert into the ears here. You have 10 cartridges in it, stick it in there and then push down, fully load the clip. Uh, you can still get stripper clips for these. They're uh, readily available, gun shows, sporting goods stores. I've never purchased any for it because um, I just didn't really feel the need for them, but uh, they're out there if you want them. Uh, without the stripper clip, you simply take your 7.62x39 cartridges, place it in there, push down on it. It's a good time to put the safety on. Pull back on the bolt a little bit, and around is chambered. So, ear plugs in here and fire one round off. Okay. When you fired all your rounds, or your one round in our case, uh, the bolt locks open. Get it shut again, you just gotta push down on the magazine follower there. You're, uh, Good to go again. If you want to reload it, shoot some more. All right, now uh, we're going to take a minute here to show you how to tear this thing down to clean it, um, which is actually pretty simplistic because this really is one of the uh, most private proof rifles ever made. Uh, there's a switch here on the back. Click that. Pull this pin out. Move the dust cover. There's a spring in here you pull out, and then you push back on this to move it. Gives you the bolt and the bolt carrier there. And after that, you're, uh, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, all the internal port parts here uh, are exposed. You can get at them with a uh, gun scrubber or even carb cleaner if you want to because the, the finish on this gun is not going to be hurt by, by the use of chemicals like that. Uh, the other nice thing about this rifle is the fact that you don't have to actually take this thing out of the wood to, uh, to give it a good scrub down because the wood that uh, is attached to these rifles is so gooped in cosmoline that uh, you really do not have to worry about any of these internal parts rusting because of uh, being in contact with this wood. Uh, if you're worried about it, you know, maybe once a year, you could uh, take it into your gunsmith, have him pull it out of the wood and give it a good scrub down, but uh, it's really not necessary for the average user. Uh, put everything back together here. You drop the magazine so it doesn't hook up there. Slide this back in. Put your spring back in. You just got to push it in there so you've got room to attach your dust cover. Put your pin and the switch back in there. And then you should be good to go. And there's a, a sproinging noise the first time you pull that back. After that, you're back in business. That's really roughly all that's required to, uh, to keep this thing in perfect working order. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, you know, everybody would agree it's, uh, it's probably a lot easier to maintain than a, an AK or, a, or an AR. It's not as pretty, but uh, it does function quite well. Uh, it does not jam, and it, uh, it does tend to get the job done for a lot less money. So if you're considering uh, getting into the, the semi-automatic rifle game, uh, it's nothing wrong with an SKS, you know, it, uh, it won't look as good ever, but uh, it, does, it does work quite well. I hope this has been informative, and I hope you give an SKS some consideration.